What we have to confront is a deep, systemic, and structural restructuring of our world. And this will take some time. And the world will look differently after we have gone through this transition process. Can you translate that for us? What is he really talking about? He's talking about us essentially giving up individual national sovereignty and giving up individual freedoms and turning over rule to experts. In fact, at his meeting in Davos, he said he looked at everyone in the room and these are billionaires, millionaires, corporate heads, government bureaucrats, Hollywood celebrities, the royal family, Bill Gates. He looked at everyone and he said, we have in this room, we get to decide the future of the planet. I mean, that's the kind of maniacal James Bond villain attitude he actually has. So what's significant, though, about this G20 speech you just played, Ali, he is now being treated as a head of state. It's now a nation state. It's reached that level status at a G20 summit where he can go up there and talk about radical restructuring, systemic restructuring of the planet. And he gets literally the same VIP treatment. And what's amazing about that is how did he get to this position of power? Well, in the book, I go back, it's founded in 1971. And the key to the way the World Economic Forum is so powerful, they found a way for businesses, academics, and lobbyists and and fundraisers to meet with politicians off the books, outside the purview of lobbying, regulators, any oversight. And they have these annual meetings, and it's a free-for-all where you get corporations, government, celebrities, academia, all together, and they're they're meeting, they're talking, they're, I hate to use the word conspiring, but they're planning. And this is how you end up with things like environment, social governance, ESG. This is how you get up, how you end up with all these corporate mandates. And what ultimately comes out of this, and this is the simplest way of looking at it, the Great Reset, the World Economic Forum, this whole agenda is to make it so we have no choice on some of the biggest questions of our lives. And just even down to the smallest. And here's a few examples. We didn't get to vote on whether gas powered cars would be banned. We didn't vote for vaccine mandates. We didn't vote for lockdowns. We didn't vote to have churches closed. We didn't vote to have schools closed. We didn't vote for mask mandates. We didn't vote uh, for uh, banning of meat. But all of this is happening because at these meetings like the World Economic Forum and the United Nations, They meet and they work with government corporate collusion to bypass democracy. And in a simple sentence, the Great Reset is basically making the once free West copy the same model as one party Chinese authoritarian rule. That is the Great Reset. They bypass democracy and impose stuff through this corporate government fascism. And we, we get told what's happening. We don't get to vote on it. There's no hearings in Congress. There's no town halls. There's no switchboards lighting up for a big vote. None of it. We're just told the car is gone. Your meat eating's going. Yeah. We're creating we're creating energy shortages. You sorry. You need a vaccine to go into this place. Sorry. Your schools are closed. Sorry. Your churches are closed. What? Huh? How did that happen? The Great Reset.